It's great to be here to impersonate Ronaldo <laughs> <laughs> and to honor him for this fabulous, um, dangerous, raw, cooked, um, phenomenal, present performance. Um, I could go on and on and on. I can just say that one thing I will say is that Ronaldo was my student starting a long time ago. And I can't tell you how fun that was <laughs> to see the, the ocean streaming into the classroom and there were no the, the windows. It was one of those buildings that you can't open the window. So imagine how strange it was to see or to hear the ocean streaming in when you couldn't even open the windows, but thanks to the spirit powers of Ronaldo. So this poem, which is, I suppose, in prose, um, it's in several little sections. It's called Chronopho Chronophotograph. And the, the little paragraphs, of which there are six, are captions or commentary on um, illustrations that are absent. So there's the paragraph, and then there is a figure one. You turn the page, there's a paragraph, and then figure two. So there are commentaries on not present visual images. Um, and so I dare you to visualize them. Chrono photograph. Helmet in the tundra, brill cream and fixed. Boxed hip bone and cock pumped, bow down to it. His hands, like large cages, arthritic fuck toys. Sycophant, the brain deadens, as in confusing effluvium for effusia. Nostrils flare and ill wind. I lick a mass of glucosamine. I want his wire glasses on before he fucks. Makes him soft. Scarecrow arms pulled back by wild marionette cords. The pink bulbous head over which I slip. Old spiced meat. I swim in his tin hair and crawl over his milky paunch. Figure one. Big and strong, 19. Fast, six foot ten. 240, but a deeply troubled soul. A black jock is a trauma pocked on the glutes where the old muscle splits. A fiscal eye at the townhouse. One investment banker is a beekeeper. He's hot with his head and torso sealed by netting. Like the sleep-induced insects, a row of stick bodies span the painting above the bed. Two gold watches pillow on wrists that lie back. Pounded by a smooth and skinless boy is a sunning crock. Lube and a towel strewn. A feeding frenzied chicken digs into its last hutch. Figure two. When I said how easy I could strangle him right then, he believed I would. A naked principle should not be uncut and weak as pinky clay. His cigar should flip back into the sunset. For head, I, in excess, find an orgy box. In a mirror, three white rhinos fuck like Venus hot tops. Breath streams through one slit as though one animal. While tracks boot mark the snow, melt down to ice, and freeze like fish bones, Kong's angry pellets steam up the rivulets. Ape, I am preoccupied. A frozen heart fires into his body like fetid flower. Figure three. Ill, a big black heart. Cells river in the bituminous hole. I make a substance, an alloy epiphany, the same scene with three barreled and hairy-chested men, not fucking really, but making sounds, gesticulating. Sure, their cocks touch, but they don't penetrate. What does man A hope to touch? B wants me. C is the owner of a big fat hand. 
in the larger older men, largest older men porn site on the internet, sheep leap over fences at the bottom margin of the new pics gallery. Pick seven. I am touched by the inalienable piss slit and perineum. A gay, or should I say a cop? <laughs> Sandy blonde continental cut by Xeroxed eyes, and there's enough of the stone gut to peep the muscled heart. A valley of twisted trees gore through the snow. Pick three. The scanned trophy's gold body is a rectored swimmer. About 57, a man is couched on a quilt whose arrows point beneath between his spread thighs. Cry laughing at his own dick. It's as though he thinks, how can I be attached to so much? The curve of it, like wild game, shocked from the marsh. The window blasts white on his flat sternum. Figure five. If I hurl myself down over it, force it in, and think I am the vortex itself, who should hold the loss? If I raid the hard and dead object, and after skid across the frozen snowed lake to freedom, I am the uncontained, one plate bore of porcelain's silence. Forcing a coma in the abyss, I want one artifact, the uncut stump from his body. Savage or wily trauma, I want that thing to swallow it. Who will taste the salt in my mouth? Feel the endless rip of the sun, its yellow light forced against the petrified pine. Figure six. 